Welcome back to Poundmaster channel. In this video, we will walk you through the wiring configuration for the single phase power loss system of the PowerSound Smart 10KP all in one solar inverter. Since we've already covered the basic wiring steps for this model in a previous video, today we will focus specifically on the AC wiring under the single phase power loss application, an area that differs from other power loss configurations. After mounting the three inverters on the wall, remove the terminal cover by unscrewing the fixed screws. Once you are ready for wiring, connect all three inverters to the same battery bank. We recommend using a bus bar to simplify wiring. Be sure to keep the cable lengths from each inverter to the battery the same. This helps minimize resistance difference, ensure consistent voltage and current distribution and avoids communication or synchronization issues that could affect its instability and reliability. After completing the battery connections, move on to the AC wiring. In a single-phase power setup is the PowerSound Smart 10KP, the L1 and L2 terminals on the AC input side of each inverter should be connected in power from this point, connect the output to the live wire of the utility. The end terminals are connected to the utility neutral wire. At the same time, the grounding terminals are connected to the utility ground. For the AC output, follow the same logic. Connect the L1 and the outer terminals of each inverter in parallel, then output a single live wire to the load. The end terminals are connected to the load neutral and the grounding terminal should also be connected to the load side grounding terminal. This wiring method ensures that all inverters are connected to the same phase, maintaining consistency in both AC input and output circuits, allowing for stable and coordinated power operation. During the actual wiring, it's recommended to first connect the L1 and the L2 terminals of each inverter's AC input in parallel, then link the AC input of adjacent inverters together. Finally, connect live and neutral wires from the last inverter to the utility breaker. Make sure to clearly distinguish between live and neutral wires. Repeat the same process for the AC output side, parallel the L1 and the outer terminals on each inverter, then interconnect the output. And finally, route the live and neutral wires from the last inverter to the load breaker. As for the PV wiring, simply connect two PV arrays to the two PV input ports of each inverter. Once you've completed the battery, AC input, AC output, and PV wiring, you can move on to system setup. Before any power system setup, there are two important reminders. Only power on one inverter at a time for a configuration. After finishing the settings, shut it down before turning on the next one. Ensure all other inverters remain off when configuring each unit. The inverter must be in standby mode when setting parallel parameters. To do this, turn off the inverter's power switch. It won't shut down immediately, but will first stop inverting and enter standby mode. You will have a short window to complete the setup before the screen turns off. For single phase power assistance, first set setting 60A to 0, indicating that there is a 0 degrees phase difference between the L1 and the outer terminals. Then set setting 31 to PAL mode. After the settings are saved, wait for the inverter to shut down automatically, then repeat the same process for the next unit. Once all inverters are configured, connect the communication cables before powering them on. This enables synchronization and load sharing, improving the overall efficiency of the system. Use the communication cables to connect the male and female ports of adjacent inverters. 
After all communication lines are connected, power on each inverter one by one. The first inverter that powers up will automatically become the master. From the master unit, you can modify and synchronize settings across the entire system. That concludes our single phase power system setup guide for the PowerSound Smart 10KP all in one solar inverter. We hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.